Today we're comparing the Google and the new Microsoft Data Analyst certificates. Until recently, the Google one was by far the most popular option, but now with Microsoft's new program, this might be about to change. And we're already seeing a lot of people enroll in the new course instead. Now, I'm not going to be going super into depth into these as I've already made detailed videos and the focus here is going to be on comparing them against each other. Let's start by taking a quick look at both of these certificates and the thing is that if you do take the wrong course, you'll waste a lot of time. So let's clear everything up right now. Starting with the Google Data Analytics certificate, it is six months at 10 hours a week for complete beginners and the goal is to help you become a data analyst from zero. They do claim to make you job ready, but as many people know at this point, that's not really the case. They are going to teach you a lot of useful skills for sure, but you will need a lot more things to become a data analyst and this one course alone is not going to be enough. Google's curriculum is basically following a data analysis lifecycle and it kind of starts with asking the right questions, cleaning, preparing and processing data. And then there's a course about how to analyze data as well as creating effective data visualizations. And finally, there's some programming with R and a capstone project, but that's pretty much it for this course. The Microsoft one is very new, but so far the reviews have been great. And even though it's only been around a short while, it already has over 100,000 people enrolled. And that is a crazy amount for such a short time and it must break some record. Now it's also beginner level at five months at 10 hours a week. So lengthwise, they are very similar. I do need to say that most people tend to complete the Google course faster than six months. I've often seen it be completed in around two to three months for most people. Now the curriculum here looks very different compared to the Google course and every course is working with the tool called Power BI which is a data visualization tool. Using Power BI you can create things like dashboards, charts and different graphs and you can do a lot of different things with Power BI and it's one of the most in-demand skills for data analysts. Now the course itself starts with an introduction and preparing some data. You learn about ETL and different ways of moving data into the right place, processing data, transforming data and all that stuff. And there's also a course about data modeling and a course about data analysis and a course about data visualization. But now let's move on to some of the differences. And here is where it gets really, really interesting because there are a lot of similarities, but also a lot of huge differences. First, I'm gonna share some general differences and then we're gonna talk about the curriculum itself. And finally, the certificates and how valuable they actually are on the job markets and what you can do with them. And the thing is that both companies are very credible, Microsoft and Google, and lengthwise, the courses are very similar as you've seen. Microsoft course is expected to take learners one month less. So it's gonna be around 40 hours more to take the Google course. But again, it's a little bit more technical as well for the Microsoft one. So I would say that most people are probably gonna spend around the same time and it's not gonna be a deal breaker. But when it comes to the curriculum and the skills that you'll learn, we obviously have Power BI as the main focus of Microsoft's course. It's going to be used in every single course in the program. But if you do want to learn other things like Python and SQL, which you should, then they're going to have to be learned on the side. So it's definitely not a complete course teaching you all of the skills, rather focusing on Power BI. On the other hand, Google's course is not very technical at all. And you're not going to become an expert in any of the technical skills, even though you will work with more tools. You'll do some things in Google Sheets, do a little bit of SQL and also some R programming language. But it's really not that much and you will have to specialize later if you do want to learn the technical skills. Now let's talk about the certificate itself. And when you complete the Google course, you will receive a piece of paper, a certificate from Google and Coursera. And this is a great achievement and it shows that you've taken the time to complete the course. But it's not really some sort of industry recognized paper that's going to make employers throw themselves at you. But when it comes to the Microsoft course, you'll also receive a certificate just like the Google one but they do also offer something else. And this is really interesting. The Microsoft program actually helps you prepare for the official Microsoft certification. And this exam is called PL300 and is a formal exam that you take online or you go on a test center and you basically take an exam once and then you're officially a Microsoft certified data analyst. And that is going to be a huge plus. You're officially a certified data analyst that you can put on your resume. Now, this is something that's external to Coursera and you will have to pay for it. It's not included in the Coursera subscription or something. And it's around $200 for the certification, although it will depend on your location. 
But a bonus is that if you do complete the Microsoft certificate on Coursera, you will also receive a 50% discount voucher. So your course on Coursera is kind of paying for itself if you decide to take the certification after. Now, my final conclusion is that the Google One is more like a general entry level certification. It's going to teach you a lot of things like how to think like a data analyst, but not really the specific skills that much. On the other hand, the Microsoft course is entirely dedicated to Power BI, and it's also gonna teach you a lot of it. But you know, it has the benefit of doing a certification, it actually prepares you for a specific skill, and both courses are great options. It just depends on where you're starting from and what your goals are. Obviously, someone that wants to learn Tableau should not take the Power BI course because that makes no sense. And I'll leave a link to the course in the description or both courses, including any currently ongoing discounts. So check that out below and good luck with whatever course you decide to take.